hii ni Buda Boss Live mali kakinuka tunakausha na kama kemini anka wako power Buda Boss kuna story mazejo personally meni kwa za row 1 2 kuna jeshi ya mapasi fulani Rift Valley wameka chini wame trend mchango ametoa video ime trend kuruka wakisema mazejo kuna loot fulani inagawanywa mahali na waoni kama mazee churches za mtayao zinapatiwa the same loot wame kwa kisikia mazejo ma politician wanaenda ma church bana wanaweza ma church wanapeana do mchango Washanga mazejo mbona sisi tunakuwa discriminated against? Kwani sisi mazee church za hapa Rift Valley hatuwezi kuja tuletewe pia hiyo do inapeanwa? No, hata sisi tunataka tupe hiyo do mti yangu. Because kipo hiyo do hata sisi kuna vitu mbili tatu, kuna songeza mbe, uza songeza mbele. Nikisikiza details ya hiyo video walichomoa, kuna key things lini hit sika fanya ni julize wait a minute ni nini our the one on about exactly ju walikuwa specific number one na the fact that kuna do inapeanwa central region and so of course wana feel mbona kuna equitable distribution ya hiyo do which are jini do gani exactly eh, source hiyo do ni nini lakini mbona hii do inagawanywa sana among churches fulani zinaziko central pia sisi hapa Rift Valley tulete tuletewe. Shikile hiyo thought number 2 wana week kama zao nasema deadline ya 30th ina come. Okay? So mbona hii deadline ya 30 September ikuwe relevant sana kwa hii discussion? Why is it relevant? Ikuwe brought out. I mean giving I end kuisha 30th unless kuna kitu wanajua atujui. If people are just giving, people can give any other time. Why is this deadline ya target so critical kukuwa brought into the equation kwa hii discussion? Now, what I want to a few things in my mind why his story kwangu ni extremely sad. What I want a general a general thing nataka kushare. One of the reasons at least to my understanding that ilifanya kukuwa na history of change of currency tusema sasa ile tao tulikuwa nayo na what the denominations kwa tumejua tunazitoa tunaleta new ni juu kulikuwa na story ya watu wamesanya do lakini do haipiti through any banking system yenye zafanya hiyo do iko trust na mtu akwe questioned alitoa wapi hiyo pesa so wale watu corrupt walikuwa hakuna do unatuma bank ah uh-uh. ah hakuna check unaandika mambo ni cash transaction na ile leto unaeka kwa nyumba. So watu wanko mekaa na na do zao kwa hao. So of course ina move ya ku deal na watu. Ni badilisha currency ipatie timeline. In fact, disappointment yangu big ni walipewa too much time ya kujipanga in between. Hii story nataka mazona ina announce leo na pia watu wiki tatu maximum. Wewe mlete pesa kama kama ulisema mama luto wa pesa shida yako. I think what only too much time kujipanga kuna wakora wametafuta mambinu za kusafisha pesa pana pale anyway kuna wale nika na believe watalemewa watadandiwa in the short span of time yenye history imeanza ku, ku, ku push na hii deadline imeanza ku, ku, ku a reality as in a draw nearer and nearer by the day as we speak 187 billion it may come back into the system in 187 billion yenye ilikuwa kwa mashimo za watu mahali ya matani and other places then you were the one who came to chini 187 b in fact ndio the dollar sai is shiny the kenya shilling design moja noma because to move from 99 shillings to 107 shillings against the dollar mchango because kila mtu sasa hivi mzee anataka ku buy the dollar wajaribu kusafisha mtiangu nikafanya mazejo eh hey, demand imekuwa big wacha tu shilingi tusheremke mtiangu in terms of value in such a short period of time na kuna watu bado as we speak wako na pesa wamelemewa kusafisha wametafuta mpenyo imekuwa ngumu sasa hizi as tunaongea sasa hii the next couple of uh, days as we uh, move towards the deadline ya 30th ya mtiangu ata transaction ya over 100,000 utolizo maswali 
mtu akuje tu na 107 eh hii pesa ulitoa wapi ah hii pesa mzee nilipo na boda boss ah boda boss id yake ni namba ya simu ni eh alikupea okay jia nini na no, boda boss ufanya job gani na ndio pia ni 100 tawa alitoa wapi account zake zinaka wapi boda ni kuchunguzwa unataka kuchunguzwa to the nitty gritty mti yangu kujaribu kushika wa gondi wako wapi Now kulikuwa na story tulikuwa tumesikia na naanza kujiuliza could this be the story mazee inajaribu kujiinua kichwa mahali Kulikuwa na story ya a few people wakijaribu kutafuta mbenyo mbenyi za ku safisha dome One of the areas ilikuwa inasemekana mtu anaweza taka kutumia kusafisha dome ilikuwa ni church Of course ukisikia story unasema aje sasa Msana kusema cheki church kila Sunday kuna watu come wana give na ni free will na hii do ni consistent na kila Sunday kuna do watu wana remit and sometimes in midweek kama kuna service it is watu wanaleta do tuende tunapeleka church so kuna theo ka device strategy ya kusema cheki tafuta church ya ule mse pasia ni za kuwa ako interested kucheza hii game na hii game inachezwa be simple cheki si tutakaa mtu kupatie mita tano lakini mbili ndio zako tatu ni zetu sawa wechukue mita tano tutaandikiana mimi na wewe chukua mita tano endo deposit charge pa nikuje nikupatie mita zingine tano endo deposit charge ta lakini tunajua kwa kila tano na kupatia mbili ni zako tatu ni zetu time ya ngori kiisha tutakaa mseme oya bro niache e, zile mita zangu tatu utaenda uchukue maze currency mzuri sana withdraw in the name of anything else whether utaita missions au utaita kujenga kanisa au utafanya ni it doesn't matter utachukua hiyo mko anje yake umrudishie mita zake tatu umemsafishia pesa kwa system nikaanza kujiuliza could it be is story tulisikia iko na ukweli unaje kuna zetu tunasikia ngo nasema ah maana hii Kenya wazee porojo pia watu wamezidi bana ai watu ni wasanii kila mahali but nikiona wazae wa insist on 30th tajiuliza mbona hii 30th ni critical Mzee najiambia tu kwa akili yangu. Mungu I hope is this story so sikia mashinani sio wapi ni mauongo. I hope is this story si real. Lakini kama mzee by any chance inaweza kuwa in part of a reality, ninaacha nikwambie mzee ukweli tuko na embarrassment kipao. Na kama sisi ina tu embarrass na tuna feel mzee hii ni kuchomea the name ya the church. Uh, Tunachomea jina ya church roho safi. Tunachomea the image ya Christ roho safi tunafanya mazejo watu wanaongea matope kuhusu what Christ ali come to do for the sake of the world for the sake of sinners for the sake of the church unaelewa mtiangu mazejo if sisi tunasikia hivi Christ anasikiaje Christ mwenye ali come mazee ka pay a heavy price on the cross jo mazee dhambi zangu na zangu mtiangu na za the rest of the people wenye wana feel yenyewe jo kitu hatuwezi But the Christ ana filaje Holy Spirit ana filaje God the Father mtu yangu Bagwani most high ana filaje jo Kristo Kuna vitu zingine si do Siji kama soga tunaangalia the impact of our actions mtu yangu Sasa hizi tunaongea about history Kuna mtu sahi probably mahali anajiambia mimi siwezi kana gachati mimi Kwa nini hai Ege chak na tukazia watu ni kunikumanga do Eh hey, watu hakuna kitu wanafanya kazi yao tu ni tama ya pesa kuna mtu sahi kumhubiria about Yesu itakuwa ni hard. Kwa nini? Acha form a perception of his story what is a church. His story ni a hoax. It's all about making the extra shilling. Mwanze? Kuna watu niko sure na tumesikia pia other good news mti yangu ya. Churches wenye politicians walikamu na pesa yao wakawaambia hata shilingi ya tuguzi. In fact pesa yako atuitaki. Kuna watu wamejaribu kukuwa corrupted lakini wame prove to take a stand on what they believe na wakasema no to the advances of such wicked men. My conviction is those who are doing the right thing ni wengi zaidi ya wale wachache wanafanya kitu za maajabu. Tusidanganyike na mtu because hiyo story may come to our attention that this is the testimony of the entire 
body of Christ in Kenya. Uongo. Those who are doing the right thing, ni venye tu hakuna time ya wao kupewa the spotlight, atakuwa na the bigger picture vizuri. Though hao wachache wanachoma. Wanachoma, the ngangas wanachoma. Wanachoma, hii jeshi tumeona juzi, ile inachoma. Lakini they are not the majority. They are but a small fraction of the entire body. Lakini wana make everyone else to look bad. I believe it is time Mazejo the other churches brethren ze kusimama na kuzungumza na kusema this is wrong. This is not how we do it. This is not how things should be done. But of course lazima to admit our view wa mechoma safi and it is embarrassing and indeed we need to be able to ask God to some some of the things our leaders do. Even if he person get kwa ni pesa, mtu anataka kutoa out of their free Giving is never coerced. That is why even to God to kipeana, God desires a cheerful gift. Unapeana juna feel nimefurahi in my heart to give to God. I am happy to give. God mwenye mister kipesa unapeana ukinunika. If you are giving anything to me it must be cheerful, not coerced, not pushed, not forced. Always a demand useme. Hata sisi leo pia lazima tupewe bwana. Tupewe haki yetu. Kaka brasa. Anyway, what do I know? Sisi za tujenda Bible school atujakuwa ordained. Si ni wa si ni mraia tu wa kawaida. Tukizungumza tu vile tunafikiria. Upe maoni yako tu sio nasemaje. Kama ke. At Freddy Butabos. Rusha comment, like, follow, share, subscribe. Venye wewe unaifi. I'll see you. Yeah.